Hey there, Blade fans. OG Blade Reviews back with you again. And got Ironfly back on the table again. Um, did a review on the Zesty. Pulling out my phone here. There's the Zesty. There's the Ironfly page. I'm going to give you a link to Ironfly. Um, just learned recently that Ironfly is a budget level knife from Kunwu. And you may recall that I did a couple of reviews recently on the Kunwu knives that I just really got introduced to. Heard the name before, but got my first two within the last month. Very uh, budgety box with a slide out tray here. Nothing too complex. And you are going to get, with the Ironfly knives, a spare clip. It's a wire clip. And because it's a wire clip, uh, they do tend to catch. So they can catch in here, and they can catch maybe under here, and they do tend to bend, although I have never bent one on the few knives, including some Spydercos that have that type of clip. This is a cool button lock, and it's coming in around $60, $70 list. This one came from White Mountain. Uh, there is a black-handled version of it, and I think one other. I'm going to give you the link to White Mountain as well, and you can get 10% off at White Mountain by using my discount code OG-Blade or my old one, this old sword, the old sword, the no, old sword, former channel name was this old sword, but the discount code is old sword. Uh, anyway, it'll be in the description. There's the fly and the zesty that I showed you in a, a moment ago was originally a Kickstarter offering. This one, however, it seems to be just out there for purchase either through uh, online dealers or directly from Ironfly. It is a cool cleaver style sheep's foot, worn cliff, whatever you want to call that, with a big old fuller that connects to a big old, old, <laughs> big old hole. Uh, it's a neat knife. And it's neat because I'm digging the blade shape. That tall cleaver sort of a blade shape that I'm going to show you some others that remind me of this shape in one way or the other. And uh, some aren't even in the same ballpark as this, not budget knives. The plunge lock on this one, and it is a pure plunge lock, is actually pretty smooth. There's just a little bit of squeak that I can feel there, and it's very fidgety. I mean, this is just a cool knife, but can't get it to accidentally close. If I press the pad of my thumb, oh, I got to push a little hard. <laughs> if I were to push like that and come up against the surface of the handle, can't get it to close. Got to go in. And it's not that difficult. So it's not going to take away from the fidgetiness at all. It really isn't. You can open and close this thing all day long. Just push the tip of your thumb in. Don't press the pad of your thumb. And I don't like knives to close on my fingers accidentally. So uh, the nice thing about this one is, you know, if you were holding it and if that closed or if that engaged there, disengaged, that you've got the choil to block against the finger, which is an added safety, but also an added convenience in using the knife. Got some excellent jimping, nice and aggressive, but not going to abrade your thumb. And look what they did. They radius, they, they uh, crowned, that's the word I'm looking for, like the Italian knives, they have crowned the spine. That's a little bit of extra work, folks. Look at that. Not only did they crown that, but to go along with it, they crowned the backspacer. <laughs> it 
And you don't see that that often, not in a budget level knife. And uh, we've got to realize that budget level knives have come up from 20, 30 bucks to pretty much double that in the past couple of years. I'm sure you can still get those 20, $30 knives that are decent. Maybe CJRB is a really good deal and a few others. Some of the uh, Civivi, some of the Sen cuts and so forth. But you're getting a lot of bang for your buck here. You're getting 14C, 28N. I know that's becoming pretty much a common stainless. Just verifying. Yeah, it's very small right there. There's the name of the knife, the YOLO. I haven't looked up YOLO to see if there's some acronym meaning or some other meaning to the word. If you know, let me know. Maybe it's uh, something that the, the online gamers know, some sort of fictitious character. I'm not going to say much more because I'm getting out on a limb and perhaps sounding foolish. <laughs> Let's measure it up, shall we? This 14C 28N blade, uh, seven and three quarter inch overall on the knife. And uh, we're going to call that a 3.4 to the handle, cutting edge, exactly three inches. So you get exactly three inches of cutting edge and a knife that's going to be a bit bigger than that. And uh, in inches, 0.56 on the handle. Thicker than it seems, 0.12 on the blade which is 3.1 millimeters. And I can get my scale over here. Everything's within hand's reach, but sometimes not easily accessed because of the pile of stuff I got off to the side here. What do we got? Ooh, 4.2, we'll call that. 4.2 ounces. So uh, is it weight relieved? I believe so. It does have hidden or nested liners, and they're fairly thick liners, as you can see there, maybe. Let's see, can you see that? Yeah. Fairly thick liners, and they are uh, skeletonized on both sides, hence the little over four ounce weight for almost an eight inch knife. Feels really good. Balance right where you'd want it, right where your first finger falls in a normal grip. And in a normal grip, I've got around a half inch left over maybe between my pinky and the pommel. Very nice hidden lanyard post. And we've got a T8 there and what appear to be T8s here as well. Kunwu does a lot of good thinking with their knives. I'm really liking the brand and the engineering that has gone into them. Comfortable handle, two fingers fit here, two fingers fit there. As I said, really nice jimping. If you want to choke up, you can lay your thumb right out past the end of the spine, which is, as I said, crowned, and you got a flat here. So you can do some nice detail work here with this sort of cleaver, sort of Warncliffe blade. Uh, I'm really digging this knife. I mean, it is nice. And a lot of people do complain about button stick. It's got a little bit, okay? But it's not objectionable. I mean, I don't know of too many button knives, maybe one or two out of 20 that I can think of that have no button stick. And you might be saying, well, it's uh, something that they can uh, work on. Yeah. But the way the uh, mechanics of it is, is that you've got this rod going through a hole in the liner and you're going to get some rubbing, right? If it's really, really hard, then send it back. But this one is definitely not. Oh, I said I'd uh, show you some examples. How about a concept egress? Similar blade shape, except we've got a longer uh, angle here on what you might call a drop that brings the point down. 
Very similar angle here, longer here, and just they clipped it a little bit shorter there. Similar sort of a knife, different handle profile. Then we got the CJRB Caldera, which was kind of a follow on to their Tigris. Also a similar blade profile. Uh, much fancier here with a scalloped cutout before it drops and more of a belly. So this is just about perfectly straight, maybe with a slight, slight belly. You can barely notice it. Very similar uh, sized holes, a little shorter on this one. This is not a button lock. It's a liner lock. That's the Caldera. And just for fun... <laughs> oh god the artisan proponent weighs about uh i don't know nine ounces something like that it's just crazy this was a special edition from uh, knife center where they bead blasted it all titanium handle m390 blade um picked it up because of the materials and because uh i like the knife got the original in the g10 and so forth the budget version this one's just so cool, and it's like guillotine drop shut. Show you that one again. Thumb stud and flipper on that. That's a Dirk Pinkerton design, and it is, uh, yeah, about an inch and a half longer overall, and uh, about half to three quarters of an inch longer blade. Just a crazy knife, the proponent, if you can ever get one of those. I think Knife Center stopped doing that as a special, but I'm not sure. And here is the parent company, Kunwu, for the Iron Fly knives. And um, this is the X Padre, their X Lock, which is their bar lock. And uh, very close to the same size blade, a little bit longer, coming up on a half inch longer. Um, whole different handle profile. Nice diamond pattern on the titanium. Smooth action. Nice clip, almost deep carry, nice titanium clip. A lot of embellishments on their knives for the money. And uh, this is running around 250 or so from White Mountain. And again, this is in the 60 to 70 range. I think these are on discount if you get it directly from Ironfly at this point. But uh, just a really nice feeling knife. If you're looking for this profile in a blade, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Will we be disappointed in this beautiful flat high grind if it isn't sharp? Well, find out. Mmm. One thing I noticed with the uh, Kunwu series is that they provide you with a very nice edge out of the box. Love it. Could be your next EDC knife, maybe even double as a tactical knife because that point is useful, kind of along the lines of what you're getting with the Yojimbo, perhaps, except a little more obtuse here. Well, there you go. That is the Ironfly YOLO parent company, Kunwu. Don't forget to give this vid a like and subscribe. I will be back with you real soon. Got more knives coming in for review. Be well and take care.